What if your silence could speak louder than words? Can enduring silence transform suffering into strength? How can ancient Buddhist wisdom guide us in the modern world? Imagine finding success, not through the clamor of self-promotion, but through the quietude of self-transformation. This journey we're embarking on is not just about achieving external milestones, but about internal growth, resilience, and peace. In our fast-paced world, where noise often drowns out the essence of our true selves, the ancient teachings of Buddhism offer a beacon of light. It tells us that the path to true success is inward, through the cultivation of mindfulness, patience, and compassion. This is a journey where work is not just a means to an end, but a process of continual learning and self-discovery. Buddhism teaches us the value of silence, not just as the absence of sound, but as a profound practice of listening and reflection. It shows us how embracing silence can transform our everyday challenges into opportunities for growth. Through silence, we can find clarity amid chaos, strength in vulnerability, and success in what may appear as setbacks. This ancient wisdom encourages us to persevere with humility, to let go of our attachments to outcomes, and to understand the impermanent nature of our experiences. In this exploration, we will delve into how Buddhist principles can guide us in our work and personal lives. We'll see how mindfulness and meditation are not just practices for the cushion, but are vital tools for achieving success in the real world. We'll learn about the power of inner transformation, how patience and resilience can lead us through challenges, and how embracing impermanence and non-attachment can bring us closer to true contentment. We'll also explore the importance of action over words, how the deeds we do in silence can speak volumes about our character and our contributions. This is not about withdrawing from the world, but engaging with it more deeply, with a heart full of compassion and a mind clear of clutter. As we go through each topic, remember, this is not just a passive listening experience. It's an invitation to look within and apply these timeless teachings to your life. Whether you're facing professional challenges, personal struggles, or simply seeking a deeper sense of peace, these principles can light the way. So, I encourage you to stay with us till the end of this video, not just because we have crafted each segment to enrich your understanding and inspire your journey, but because this exploration could be the key to unlocking a more fulfilling, serene, and successful life. And if you find value in what you discover, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life YouTube channel. Your support helps us share more of these transformative insights with others seeking guidance and inspiration. As we embark on this journey together, let's open our hearts and minds to the lessons that lie ahead. Let's discover how, in the silence of our deepest efforts, our success can truly make the loudest noise. 1. Buddhism as a Guide to Mindful Work Let's dive into how Buddhism can light our way in the work world, making our days more mindful and meaningful. This isn't about doing more. It's about being more, more present, more positive, and more peaceful in our jobs. Buddhism teaches us about being mindful. This means paying full attention to what we're doing, right here, right now, without letting our minds wander off to the past or future. Imagine doing your tasks at work with such focus that you find joy even in the small things. This could be as simple as enjoying the feel of your fingers on the keyboard or the process of solving a problem. Mindfulness makes work less of a chore and more of a chance to be fully alive in each moment. Then, there's living by dharma, or right action. This is all about doing things that feel right deep down in your heart. It's choosing to act kindly, fairly, and with respect for others. When we bring this into our work, every decision we make and every interaction we have can spread a little more goodness in the world. It's like dropping a pebble in a pond and watching the ripples reach far and wide. The Buddha's own story is a powerful example of living with integrity. He showed us that true success 
isn't about gathering wealth or titles, but about how we live our lives and touch the hearts of others. By working with honesty and care, we not only make our workplaces better, but also bring real value to our communities. Facing challenges with a positive outlook changes everything. Instead of seeing problems as roadblocks, we can view them as chances to learn and grow. It's about being resilient, finding the way through tough times with a calm and steady heart. This doesn't mean the problems disappear, but we change how we deal with them, making us stronger and wiser. Buddhism talks a lot about balance, finding the middle way. This means working hard, but also knowing when to pause and breathe. It's about chasing our goals without losing sight of the joy in the journey. This balance keeps us healthy and happy, making sure we don't burn out on our way to achieving our dreams. You might wonder, can these ancient ideas really fit into our modern work life? Absolutely. There are so many stories of people and companies who found success by embracing mindfulness, kindness, and integrity. They prove that it's possible to be successful while also being good human beings. Bringing mindfulness into work can start with small steps. It could be taking a few deep breaths before a meeting or focusing completely on a task without getting distracted. These moments of mindfulness can make a big difference in how we feel and perform at work. Acting with integrity means being someone others can trust and rely on. It's about being true to your word and doing the right thing, even when it's hard. This builds strong, lasting relationships in the workplace and beyond. Embracing Buddhist principles at work isn't just good for our careers, it's good for our souls. It helps us discover what we're truly passionate about and what gives our work meaning. It turns our careers into a part of our journey towards understanding ourselves and the world around us. In the end, using Buddhism as a guide for mindful work invites us to think differently about success. It's not just about climbing the ladder or hitting targets. It's about working in a way that brings peace, joy, and positivity into our lives and the lives of others. It's about finding a deeper satisfaction in our work that goes beyond paychecks and accolades. This way of working not only enriches us, but also makes the world a little bit better, one mindful action at a time. Two, the transformative power of silence. Silence often goes unnoticed in our busy lives, yet it has an amazing power to change us from the inside out. Buddhism shows us that silence isn't just about not talking or having no noise around. It's a deep, peaceful space where we can really hear our own thoughts and feelings. This kind of listening is active and brings us into the here and now, helping us find answers and feel at peace. When we give ourselves moments of quiet, we step back from life's hustle and bustle. We create a peaceful spot where we can tune in to what's going on inside us. It's like finding a calm port in a stormy sea. This isn't about being alone or lonely. It's about connecting with ourselves on a deep level. In these quiet moments, big problems seem smaller, and we often find the guidance we're looking for. Scientists say that being silent can make us feel less stressed, more focused, and more creative. It's not just about shutting out the world's noise, but also calming the endless thoughts that race through our minds. Learning to find quiet in our busy days helps us stay calm, even when everything around us is moving fast. Silence isn't just about being alone with our thoughts. It's a way to be with others without words. This silent connection can be really strong, making us feel understood and close without saying anything. It reminds us that talking is just one way to communicate. Being truly there for someone can mean more than words can say. Finding silence can spark new ideas and creativity. Just as a seed grows best in the quiet earth, our best ideas can come to life when we give them space and quiet to grow. Many creative people say that their best work comes from times of silence, where inspiration quietly comes to them. But how can we bring more silence into our lives, especially when we're always busy? It's about choosing to pause, even for a short while. 
taking a few minutes to breathe quietly or making a special quiet spot at home can open us up to the good things silence brings. These small moments can refresh us, helping us see things more clearly. In work, silence can change the way we lead and work together. Being quietly confident can have a big impact. It shows deep understanding and self-belief without needing to be loud. Leaders who value silence create a space where everyone feels they can share their ideas and grow. Silence gives us strength to deal with tough feedback or disagreements with grace. Instead of reacting right away, we can take a moment to think and respond in a way that helps us learn and grow. Starting to value silence in our lives and work is like starting a quiet revolution. It's about finding a balance, really listening, and letting the peaceful power of silence guide us. In a world that often thinks being busy and loud is important, choosing silence is a powerful choice. It invites us to explore a rich inner world where we can find peace, clarity, and inspiration. This journey into silence can transform not just us, but also the world around us in beautiful ways. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 3. Suffering and Perseverance on the Path to Success Life is full of tough moments and challenges. But did you know that these tough times can actually help us grow and get closer to our goals? Buddhism teaches us a lot about dealing with hard times and not giving up. It's about understanding that tough times are a part of life and learning how to keep going, turning our struggles into steps towards success. Buddhism tells us that experiencing tough times, or dukkha, is just part of being human. But the good news is, it doesn't stop there. It teaches us that by knowing this, we can handle challenges better. Think of it like this. If you know rainy days are part of the weather, you'll remember to carry an umbrella. This way, you're prepared and can keep going, even when the rain starts to pour. The teachings of Buddhism, like the Noble Truths, talk about why we face tough times and how we can move past them. They tell us not to give up when things get hard. Instead, they encourage us to look closely, understand what's causing the issue, and find a way through it with patience and determination. It's a bit like navigating through a dense forest. Yes, it's challenging, but every step forward is moving you closer to where you want to be. There are so many stories out there, from famous people to folks just like us, who faced really hard times but kept pushing forward. These stories aren't just nice to hear. They show us that sticking to our path, even when it's hard, is truly worth it. They remind us that the people we look up to now once had their own struggles and doubts. Buddhism places a big emphasis on patience. But it's not just about waiting around. It's about how we wait. Dealing with our problems patiently can make our journey feel more meaningful. This kind of patience is active, not passive. It's about choosing to stay hopeful and steady, no matter how tough the climb might seem. Suffering can teach us a lot about ourselves. When we go through hard times, we discover what we're really made of. We find strength we didn't know we had and learn lessons that easy paths could never teach us. This makes us stronger and gives us wisdom for our journey ahead. Being resilient or bouncing back from tough times is a big idea in Buddhism. It's like being a tree that bends in the wind but doesn't break. Becoming more resilient means seeing setbacks as just part of the journey. Each time we get through a tough spot, we're laying down a stronger foundation for whatever comes next. Buddhism gives us tools like mindfulness and meditation to help us stay calm and focused, even when things are hard. These practices help us see our problems clearly and find smart ways to deal with them. It's not about running away from our troubles, but facing them with a clear mind. Seeing challenges as chances to grow changes how we look at life. Instead of seeing problems as roadblocks, we start to see them as opportunities to learn and get stronger. This way, even the hardest times can become some of our most valuable moments. Perseverance is often a quiet, personal journey. 
but it's also something that can bring us together with others who have faced their own challenges. Sharing our stories can inspire and support those around us, creating a circle of encouragement. Every mistake and setback teaches us something important. It shows us that failing isn't the end of the world. In fact, it's part of the journey towards success. By learning from each bump in the road, we get smarter and more prepared for the next step. This is how we find success through perseverance, by using our struggles to become better, stronger, and more understanding people, ready to reach our goals and help others do the same. Four, humility and non-attachment in achievements. In our path to success, being humble and not getting too attached to the end results are more important than we might think. These ideas come from Buddhism and they offer a fresh way to look at our achievements and how we get there. Being humble keeps us grounded and not being overly focused on outcomes helps us enjoy the journey more. Being humble means understanding that no matter how much we achieve, there's always something new to learn. It's like being a student for life where each day teaches us something new. This keeps us open to growing and becoming better people, even as we reach our goals. Not being too attached to outcomes doesn't mean we shouldn't aim high or work hard. It means finding joy in the work we do, not just in finishing or winning. This takes the pressure off and lets us put our best foot forward without the fear of failing. When we do well, humility reminds us to think about the people who helped us along the way. Success is never just about one person. It's built on support, advice, and encouragement from many. Recognizing this helps us feel grateful and strengthens our relationships. Being okay with letting go when things don't work out as planned is part of not being too attached. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, things might not go our way. Learning to accept this and move on without losing our spirit is key. It helps us stay resilient and ready for new challenges. Humility and not being too attached can make us happier and more at peace. Instead of always wanting more, we learn to appreciate what we have. This doesn't mean we stop trying to achieve great things. It just means our happiness doesn't only come from our achievements or what others think of us. In the workplace, being humble is seen as a good leadership quality. Leaders who are humble are easy to talk to and respected because they earn it, not demand it. They create a positive environment where everyone feels valued and works together well. Not being too attached also means we can handle criticism better. Instead of getting upset, we see it as a chance to learn and get better. This is important for growing and improving, turning challenges into opportunities. Thinking this way helps us be happy for others when they succeed, without feeling jealous or less important. It creates a supportive atmosphere where everyone can do their best and feel good about it. Being open to trying new things without fear of failing sparks creativity and innovation. When we're not worried about making mistakes, we're more likely to come up with big ideas and new solutions. Lastly, being humble and not too attached helps us live in the moment. Instead of always looking for the next big thing, we can enjoy the here and now. This makes everyday life richer and more enjoyable. By bringing humility and a sense of letting go into our efforts to succeed, we make our journey more meaningful. Our achievements bring us real joy and fulfillment, not just brief moments of happiness. Staying humble and focused on the present helps us build a life that's not only successful, but also deeply satisfying. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 5. Inner Transformation Through Buddhist Principles Changing ourselves from the inside out is a big adventure, and Buddhism gives us a map to help us on our way. This isn't just about making ourselves better. It's about discovering who we really are and finding peace in a world that's always changing. First up, Buddhism teaches us about impermanence, which means everything around us, including our own feelings, is always changing. Once we understand this, we can start to let go of trying to keep things the same 
and find peace with how things change. It's a bit like watching leaves float by on a river and seeing how they're all part of the moving water. Being mindful is another important idea. It's about living right now, noticing everything around us and inside us, without getting lost in worries about yesterday or tomorrow. This helps us enjoy the little things and not get so stressed. Imagine feeling the sun on your face and just enjoying it, not thinking about anything else. That's being mindful. Kindness is a big deal in Buddhism. It asks us to be kind and understanding to others, seeing them as just like us. When we do this, we want to help and be kind, making the world nicer for everyone. It's like helping a friend who's having a tough time just because you care. Everything is connected, Buddhism says. Understanding this helps us see how our actions affect others and the world. When we help others, we're also helping ourselves because we're all part of the same big picture. Feeling grateful for what we have is life-changing. Instead of thinking about what we're missing, we focus on the good things we already have. This fills us with happiness, like when you really enjoy a meal and are thankful for it. Letting go of ego is tough but worth it. Our ego makes us think we're the most important, but this can cause trouble and sadness. When we let go of this, we feel lighter and happier, like taking off a heavy backpack on a hot day. Being patient is key. It means accepting that things take time and not getting upset about waiting. This kind of patience makes us calmer and happier, like watching a seed grow into a flower, knowing it needs time. Giving to others and to ourselves makes our lives richer. This isn't just about things, but also about being kind to ourselves and forgiving. It creates a circle of happiness that spreads from us to others and back again. Discovering who we really are is a big part of Buddhism. It's a journey to find out what makes us special and strong, leading us to new chances to grow and be happy. Lastly, finding time for quiet and being alone helps us think, meditate, and rest. In these quiet moments, we can hear our own thoughts and get guidance for our journey. By bringing these Buddhist ideas into our lives, we start a journey that makes us more peaceful, understanding, and joyful. This change doesn't just help us. It makes things better for everyone around us, spreading happiness and growth. Through this journey, we learn that true happiness comes from inside us, and by changing ourselves, we can make the world a better place. 6. Patience and Resilience in the Face of Challenges Dealing with tough times calls for a lot of patience and the ability to bounce back, known as resilience. Think of these as superpowers that help us get through the stormy parts of life, making us stronger and more ready for whatever comes next. Patience is like being in a long line and finding ways to be okay with waiting. It's knowing that getting upset doesn't make the line move any faster. Instead, if we find something to be happy about in that moment, like a good song or a chance to daydream, we turn our waiting time into something better. Resilience is our inner strength that helps us get back up after we've been knocked down. It's like being a tree that bends in the wind but doesn't snap. After the wind stops, the tree is still standing, maybe even stronger where it had to bend. This shows us that no matter what comes our way, we have what it takes to face it and move past it. When we work on being patient and resilient, we learn that facing hard times is just a part of life. It doesn't mean we won't get upset or scared, but we also know these tough times won't last forever and we can learn something from them. To grow our patience, we can try being more mindful. Mindfulness means really paying attention to what's happening right now without wishing it were different. When we're mindful, we're fully in the moment which helps us wait more calmly, whether for a friend who's running late or for bigger things we hope to achieve. Keeping a positive outlook can help build our resilience. Instead of seeing problems as impossible walls, we can look at them as challenges that help us grow. This doesn't make the problem smaller, but it gives us the courage to find a way through. Being patient also means accepting things we can't change. 
There are lots of things out of our control, but we can always choose how we react. Knowing this can help us feel more at peace, even when we have to wait for things to get better. Sometimes, being resilient means asking for help. Being strong doesn't mean going it alone. Getting advice or support from others can give us the extra strength we need to get through tough spots. Learning to wait without getting upset about delays is part of patience. We're used to fast answers and quick fixes, but some of the best things in life take time. Enjoying the steps along the way, even when they're slow, is a big part of learning patience. Resilience means being ready to change direction if we need to. If we hit a dead end, it's okay. Being resilient means we can find a new path and keep going, no matter what. Patience involves trust, trusting the process, the people around us, and ourselves. Even when things seem unsure, believing that it will work out in the end can help us stay calm and patient. And don't forget, taking care of ourselves helps build resilience. Looking after our health, finding time to relax, and doing things we love fills up our energy tanks, making us ready to face whatever comes next. By working on our patience and resilience, we're not just getting through the hard times, we're learning and growing from them. These qualities don't only help us survive, they help us thrive, finding deeper meaning and joy in our journey. Through patience and resilience, we discover that our biggest challenges can lead to our greatest achievements. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 7. Embracing Impermanence and Non-Attachment Understanding that things always change and learning not to hold on too tightly to anything can really change how we see life and make us happier. These ideas come from old teachings, but they have a lot to offer us today. Let's take a closer look at how these thoughts can help us enjoy life more, even when it gets tough. First off, knowing that everything changes helps us get through hard times. Just like the weather, our lives have sunny days and storms. Remembering that storms don't last forever can give us hope and help us enjoy the sunny days even more. Not holding on too tightly means we enjoy things without worrying about when they'll end. It's like loving a beautiful flower in a garden without being sad when it fades. The beauty was always meant to be enjoyed in the moment. Realizing that everything changes encourages us to live in the now. Instead of worrying about what happened yesterday or what might happen tomorrow, we can focus on making the most of today. When we don't let our happiness depend on things staying the same, we find a special kind of calm. Sure, we try hard and have dreams, but if things don't go exactly as planned, we can still be okay with it. This helps us bounce back from disappointments faster. Seeing how everything changes can also show us the beauty in letting things go and starting new. It's exciting to know that every ending could be the start of something new and wonderful. Loving without holding on too tightly makes our relationships better too. It means giving our friends and family space to grow, which makes for stronger and happier bonds between us. Being okay with things changing reduces our fear of losing stuff or people. Knowing loss is a part of life helps us face it more bravely and makes us stronger when we do face tough times. Focusing on the journey means we find joy in doing our best every day, not just in reaching a goal. This makes every day a bit more special and a lot less stressful. Accepting that life always changes makes us more flexible and open to new things. Instead of sticking to old habits that don't work anymore, we can be excited to try new ways of doing things. Finally, when we understand that things change and we can enjoy them without holding on too tightly, we start to see how wonderful life really is. We're thankful for each moment, knowing it's unique and won't come again. By embracing the idea that nothing stays the same and learning to let go, we can find a deeper happiness that doesn't depend on things outside of us. These ways of thinking can make our good days brighter and our tough days a little easier, leading us to a more peaceful and joyful life. 8. Meditation and Mindfulness for Daily Success Incorporating meditation and mindfulness into our daily routines can be a game-changer, helping us achieve success in a calm and focused way. These practices, rooted in ancient traditions, have much to offer in our fast-paced, 
modern lives. Let's break down how these tools can elevate our day-to-day -day experiences and lead us to greater achievements and happiness. Meditation is like taking a peaceful break for our minds. It gives us a chance to pause, breathe, and step back from the hustle and bustle. By sitting quietly, even just for a few minutes each day, we can reduce stress and find a sense of calm. This little break can make a big difference in how we feel and approach our tasks. Mindfulness means paying full attention to whatever we're doing at the moment, without getting distracted. Whether we're eating, walking, or working, being fully present helps us enjoy our activities more and do a better job. It's about savoring the taste of our food, noticing the beauty around us during a walk, or focusing completely on our work tasks. By practicing meditation regularly, we can improve our focus and concentration. This makes it easier to get things done efficiently and to a high standard. Imagine how much more you could achieve if your mind wasn't constantly wandering off. Mindfulness also helps us manage stress better. When we're mindful, we're less likely to get swept up in worries about the future or regrets about the past. We can handle pressures with more grace, keeping our cool in stressful situations. Meditation can boost our creativity. By clearing our minds of constant chatter and distractions, we make space for new ideas to surface. It's often after a meditation session that we come up with solutions to problems or creative ideas for projects. Being mindful improves our relationships. When we're fully present with others, our conversations are more meaningful and connections deeper. Listening attentively to someone shows we value them, strengthening our bonds. Practicing mindfulness can enhance our physical health. It's been shown to help lower blood pressure, improve sleep, and reduce chronic pain. When our bodies feel better, we're more capable of chasing our goals and achieving success. Meditation teaches us patience and discipline. Setting aside time to meditate, even when we're busy, is a practice in prioritizing our well-being. This discipline can spill over into other areas of our life, helping us stick to our goals and see them through. Mindfulness helps us enjoy the journey to our goals, not just the destination. By being present in each moment, we find joy and satisfaction in the process of working towards our dreams. This makes the path to success as rewarding as the achievement itself. Lastly, incorporating these practices into our daily life doesn't have to be complicated. Simple techniques like focusing on our breath or being fully engaged in a task can be a great start. Over time, these moments of mindfulness and meditation can add up to a profound change in how we feel and achieve success. By embracing meditation and mindfulness, we equip ourselves with powerful tools for navigating life's challenges and achieving our goals with a calm, clear mind. These practices offer a path to not just external success, but also to inner peace and contentment, making our journey through life richer and more fulfilling. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 9. Equanimity and Compassion in Personal and Professional Life Bringing balance and kindness into our daily lives, both at home and work, can really change things for the better. Equanimity and compassion are like secret ingredients that make life smoother and more enjoyable for everyone. Here's how these two amazing qualities can make a big difference. Equanimity means staying calm and balanced, no matter what's happening around us. It's like being in the middle of a noisy room, but still being able to focus on a good book. This calmness helps us think clearly and make good decisions, whether we're dealing with family stuff or work challenges. Compassion is all about seeing when someone else is having a tough time and wanting to help them feel better. It could be as simple as making a cup of tea for a coworker who's stressed or listening to a friend who needs to talk. These little acts of kindness make a big impact. When we practice staying calm with equanimity, we learn to take both the good and bad in stride. Winning or losing, getting a promotion, or facing a setback doesn't throw us off balance. This makes life less stressful and more enjoyable. 
Being kind or showing compassion not only lifts others up but also makes us feel good. It's like when you give someone a gift and see their face light up. It makes you happy too. In tough situations, especially at work, if one person keeps their cool, it can help everyone else stay calm too. It's like setting the tone for everyone to follow, making it easier to work through any problem. Kindness builds strong connections with people. When we genuinely care and show concern, it deepens our relationships, making us feel closer and more trusted, whether with friends, family, or colleagues. Keeping a balanced mindset helps us stay focused and not get too distracted by ups and downs. This means we can get things done more efficiently and with less worry, whether it's a big project or daily chores. Creating a supportive environment where everyone looks out for each other with compassion makes challenges less daunting. It's easier to face tough times when you know you have a team that cares. Appreciating the good times without getting too upset about the bad ones is part of equanimity. This balance helps us find true happiness in life, enjoying the journey without getting too caught up in the destination. Living with equanimity and compassion leads to a happier, more peaceful life. By being calm and kind, we spread positivity and make the world a nicer place to be. You don't have to make big gestures to live with equanimity and compassion. Small acts of kindness, taking a moment to breathe when you're stressed, or just keeping an even keel during ups and downs can make a huge difference. By weaving these qualities into our daily lives, we not only make our own lives better, but also brighten the world around us. 10. Self-discovery and true success through action. Over words. Discovering who we truly are and achieving real success is much more about what we do than what we say. It's like setting off on an adventure. You won't know what's out there until you start moving. When we begin to act on our dreams and ambitions, we not only learn a lot about our capabilities and limits, but we also see our confidence grow with every step we take. It's the difference between imagining the view from the mountaintop and actually hiking up there to see it for ourselves. Each action, no matter how small, adds to our belief in ourselves, much like each brick adds strength to a building. Embarking on our goals transforms the landscape of opportunities, revealing paths and destinations we couldn't have envisioned from the start. This is similar to opening a door and finding a path that leads to an unexpectedly beautiful place. By putting our plans into motion, we demonstrate our commitment not just to ourselves, but to the world, which is more convincing than any words could be. This hands-on approach, where we engage directly with our challenges and aspirations, is where we find our most valuable lessons. It's through the actual experience, through the trials and errors, that we learn the nuances that no book or advice can fully capture, much like the unique balance needed to stay upright on a bicycle is learned through feeling and adjusting, not from instructions. The momentum we build by consistently taking action makes the journey smoother over time, similar to how pushing a heavy object makes it easier to keep it moving once it starts. As we progress, we often find that our initial goals evolve. The process of doing and experiencing provides clarity, helping us to refine or even change our direction based on a deeper understanding of what truly resonates with us. This clarity often leads us to paths that feel more like home than anything. We've previously known, much like discovering a place that feels more like home than where you've lived your whole life. Moreover, the focus required in our actions encourages mindfulness, drawing our attention to the present and enriching our experience. This mindful approach helps us appreciate the journey, savoring each step like a delicious meal rather than rushing through it. Ultimately, the success we seek isn't just about the goals we achieve, but about the fulfillment and joy we find in reaching them. Success is more deeply felt when our actions align with our inner selves, akin to the satisfaction of nurturing a garden to bloom through patient and attentive care. By stepping into the world of action, we initiate a powerful process of self-discovery and achievement. 
It's not solely the achievement of our goals that defines our success, but also the growth, lessons, and joy we encounter along the way. Through our actions, we uncover our true potential and carve a path to genuine success, illustrating that the essence of living fully lies in the doing, not just the dreaming. Conclusion As we wrap up our journey through these powerful ideas, we're reminded of how simple yet deep teachings can really change our lives. We've looked at many ways to make our days better, like learning to go with the flow of life, finding quiet moments to just be, and spreading kindness wherever we go. Putting these teachings into practice, like being fully in the moment, welcoming changes and helping others, doesn't just make our lives richer, it also touches the lives of those around us. Every small act of kindness, every effort to stay calm and focused, adds up to a big difference. This adventure we've been on isn't just about getting to a finish line. It's about the experiences we gather, the people we meet, and the joy we find along the way. It's about doing things with love and care, showing up for others, and enjoying the little things that make life special. As we move forward, let's keep these lessons close to our hearts. Let's remember to be kind, to take action with love, and to enjoy the journey of life. By doing so, we're not just chasing after our own success. We're also lighting the way for others to find their path to happiness. This isn't the end, but a new beginning. With the wisdom we've shared, let's step into tomorrow ready to make the most of every moment. Let's keep growing, learning, and spreading joy everywhere we go. Together, we can make the world a brighter, kinder place, one step at a time. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel.